Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to another episode of Skiller vs. Skiller. So in today's episode, guys, I'm going to be playing a Skiller called Trini Skiller. So I will leave all the links you need to his YouTube channel and his Twitter in the description below so you know if you want to contact him or check out any of his YouTube videos. So I've actually decided to change up a rule now as well. Both players playing the match will have to use a team full of only 5-star Skillers. So as you can see here, my bench and my starting 11 are all 5-star Skillers. So now that you understand the new rule, um, let's get into the match. So getting into Trini's team now, he had a really, really nice team. Not quite as good as mine, but he had a few... Um, a good skill is in there such as Dembele, Al Shirari, Douglas Costa, um, Nani, Balassi, Kresma, um, Jalson Martins and a few others. So getting into the first chance of the game here now, Trini gets it there, does some really nice skill moves and one thing um, that I was quite surprised about was how much um, Trini has improved since FIFA 17. I remember playing him around the end of FIFA 17 and he wasn't exactly the best skiller but um, you know, ever since then he seemed to improve quite a lot. I think maybe since the start of FIFA 18 he's been practicing a lot or maybe he's just um, watched a few more tutorials or something like that, but he has improved quite a lot since the last time I played him, and that's what I was uh, quite surprised about, because I remember the last time I played him, um, he couldn't even do a running waka waka, but now, um, as you can see, he's doing stuff like that. Look at that, a crazy, crazy goal there from Trini. Um, maybe if I had a normal goalkeeper in, they might have saved it, but not really going to take anything away from that goal. It was still very, very nice away. So flicked it back over his head and then lobbed our goalkeeper. So the next chance here we get here with Asayidi. Do some nice skill moves there to another double touch spin. Do a scoop turn. Um, I was trying to do another running waka waka there, but Trini managed to dispossess me. Then he gets the ball there with Kresma. Does some nice off ball dribbling combo there. Does a nice roulette to a burb toss spin past the defender there. And then eventually we do foul him. And then from the resulting free kick, I think he decides to shoot it with Nani. Yeah, he decides to shoot this one um, with Nani. He's quite far out. I'm not really sure why he decided to shoot, but you know, you never know with free kicks. And then it goes marginally wide of the crossbar. And then the next chance here, I get the ball with Al Shirari, who actually is one of my favourite five star skillers. If you're looking for like a cheap skiller, um, then I would recommend Al Shirari. He's probably the best cheap skiller, and especially if you can even afford his Infum card. I would also say that that card is slightly better than his normal card. Um, and yeah, just for the price you pay for the card, he's very, very good. I and mean, it does remind me of a lot of Neymar. You know, if you can't afford Neymar in your skill squad, just pick up Al Shirari instead and link it up with players such as um, Parolo and um, other players like that in the Serie A. So the next chance here again, Trini pulling off some really nice skill combos there. And then eventually we managed to defend it. Um, and then again, Trini now um, does a skill move there. We managed to dispossess him. This is in the second half now. I go on a really nice skill run here with Buffal. Try the running waka waka there, but fail it. Do a nice ball reflect to a fake Rabona, to a double touch spin. I'm about to take the shot, and then Trini manages to tackle the ball. And then, um, just because, you know, we are just trying to skill and mess around in these matches, we don't really care about winning. Trini decides to go in a skill run with his goalkeeper, Velassi, pulling off some decent combos here. Um, this game was quite laggy as well, so it made it fairly hard to defend. You know, I'd press the tackle button, and then it would take about half a second to, you know, um, go into the game, sort of like. So there's a bit of input delay, what wasn't the best for defending. That's why my defending in this match wasn't really the best. Um, and then it, I could have probably shot there, or maybe gone for like an Akotcha flick to long shot, but I decided to do a few other skill moves. I was going to go for the um, the Balassi flick to long shot there, but I managed to get tackled. And then moving on into the 65th minute here, Trini has the ball with Ronaldo. Does a really nice scoop turn there. Um, to another scoop turn, does a double touch spin, I think. No, he tried to do a double touch exit there, um, but failed it. So we get the ball back here with Mares, who's probably my favourite five-star skiller, along with Neymar this year. We do a nice heel-to-heel -heel there to a running waka waka, to a fake shot. And then Mares gets out strength there. So again, we get another chance here, but this time it is with that foot must be foul card. I do a nice double touch spin there, past the player, do a ball roll, two hocus pocus, two a heel to heel, two a ball roll, two fake drag back, to the pirate skill move, two a drag back, to the V step, to a ball roll. We're going on a really nice skill run here. Um, do a nice double touch spin there, and then eventually, after that really good skill run, we do get dispossessed. So in the next chance here again, Trini has the ball with Ronaldo, and he seemed to get the ball to Ronaldo quite a lot. I think it was one of his favourite players um, in his team. So we're here in the 85th minute now with Ronaldo again, pulling off some decent skill moves. We do win the ball back, but then we give it straight back to him. Um, he does a nice skill move there to a drag back, beats my defender. 
Um, does that skill move there? Not not a lot of skillers really seem to use it. It's where you do a fake shot but hold forward. Um, I think it's called it's called the fake something. I can't remember the exact name of it. But it actually, looks pretty cool, and I might try and you know um, introduce it into some of my combos. And then in the next chance here, in the last chance of the game, we're gonna Masonda there. Do some really nice skill moves. This is probably one of my best runs of the match. Um, just because you know I wanted to get that goal to equalise because um, we were now going into the 90th minute. So again I'm doing some really nice skill combos over my Sonda. Go for the running Waka Waka. I probably shouldn't have tried that scoop turn and maybe um, would have gotten behind and would have been able to take the shot. But anyway guys this has been the video. If you have enjoyed it I want to see another episode of Skiller vs Skiller very soon. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.